<laughs> we did it. We have a thousand fans in the Club Mercury area. Ooh. I mean, yay. So, Yoda has uh, some reservations yeah. about Club Mercury right out the gate. I mean, that's kind of normal. Yeah, but this time, something, there's a... <sighs> there's a reason for this. Do you think that Yoda would have preferred or would have liked the other clubs if they might have been called stuff like Yavin or Endor or Dagobah? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he, he might be more... I, I think he's more of a Star Wars guy than a Sailor Moon guy. Hmm. Alright, well, I suppose we should go check out Club... Uh, uh, I don't know, Endor. You need to come up with like a specific reason why we're calling it Endor. Though. Mm, there's, there's, I, I don't. We're gonna workshop this afterwards. <laughs> uh, you, you're gonna have to leave that one. I don't know my Star Wars. All right. Well, look, viewers, look forward to never seeing that posted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I should, what I should be saying is if this video gets a hundred likes then I will do it for free. <laughs> you heard it, folks. And in the meantime, Yuki needs us to go pick up some, uh, some vinegar so she can make some Tarashi. <sighs> She doesn't sound half bad right now, actually. Tried it, but it, I do. It does sound like something I might like. Can't get vinegar, huh? Must be a quarantine in the area. <laughs> uh, might be a little too soon for that. And no, again, because by the time this video comes out. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, like, we're recording this like a month in advance, so the situation may be only, different. Only a month? I think it's about a month in advance. Eh? To, to peel the curtain back, uh, I, I, I like to stay about uh, a month uh, ahead of schedule when it comes to uploads. Come on, Majima. Huh? I don't know if I'm more annoyed than... Majima keeps 
all infinites, or that it's like a universal constant in this place? I I feel like that could go either way, honestly. But yeah, let's go uh let's go all doom carry on these guys. Either you've been watching different JK moves than I have, or I don't remember <laughs> this part in the mask. Eh, don't worry about it. I know, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I haven't voiced my appreciation for that one breaker style skill that uh lets you just raise your heat bar a ton just by posing at the end of a combo. Like I that 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 might be one of my favorite like breaker style things. I mean, look, it's all in the main style. Yeah. I I don't know why it's taking me this long to realize it, but the heat meter in these games is basically like a a, a style meter. Mm. Like the better, the more stylish you fight, and the better you do, the, the more heat you get to retain. Mm. I mean that that starts falling or that stops being true. For, like the dragon engine, but you know, it still holds true here. Mm. This is very awkward, especially since the <laughs> eyes are still moving a little bit. Really tempted to make that the video thumbnail now. Mm, please don't. <laughs> Surprise! We checked out Club Mercury. They sell shitty drinks. Who would have thought? Just like every other place. Hey now, the Grand serves only the best. Mm. And so does Club Sunshine, I guess. Uh, they're not places, they're destinations there. I made it dumb. <sighs> Somehow I instantly dislike this guy. And I, I think it's literally just because of the hat. I was about to say, like, was is it the hat? It, it's probably just, just the hat. It, it's, I totally understand. It's not even, and I'm not even like going for like the, the joke or whatever. It's literally just like, you, there's no reason to wear a hat angled like that. Like in <laughs> any way, shape or form. Like, you're not cool, you know? Just wear it straight, like it's supposed to be. Like, the only reason you should have a, a hat perched like that is if you're on top of a horse and you're oh. reaching for your gun. Would that look good with like a cowboy hat? I mean, not that particular style of dress, no, not at all. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
I get he has the things for like his glasses or whatever, but they just make him look like granny glasses. I just noticed, is, is he wearing a... That's not a bolo tie, right? Uh, yeah. That's how you know he's from Texas. <laughs> it's my grits. Mm. Anyway, approach any of my my places and I'll have you murdered. Shit, the vinegar store's that way. Mm. I'm just glad that everybody and I mean everybody has made this really easy on us by coming to us. Right? Like, oh man, normally games would have you like try to search for these people. No, nope. I'll just come to you. In a fancy <laughs> cutscene. So here's here's Yoda's backstory. He uh We already know it. The just rope. watch episodes one through three. To, to summarize for the people who uh, are skipping ahead of that, uh, Yoda was trained by uh, Mizumura, nope. learned everything from the man. Not true. And now Mizumura has fallen. I mean, you know, once you get the pimp cane, you can't really go back to normal. It's it's true. Just look at the boss. Hi. I mean, would you even have this sort of viewpoint when the last person that was all like at that Yoda was here for and experienced firsthand, where like they had this. You know, deep backstory about being like a well-to-do person, then became evil slash violent, all that stuff. Why would you like not? And like, because after you defeated him, aka called Jupiter in the last, basically the last set of these videos, <sighs> he became good and redeemed himself, quote unquote. Like, why would you not be more willing to talk about an old worker slash like mentor or whatever? when it's possible Majima could save him. Uh, I, I, I don't know, honestly. Anyway, I guess it's time uh, we get to know Saki a little bit. Hooray. それじゃあ。休みの日は大体寝てますね。え?はい。仕事の疲れを持ち越さないように休日はしっかり休むようにしてるんです。オンとオフしっかりつけたいから。中学高校と陸上部で長距離を走ってました。なるほどな。ええ、体力には自信があるんです。今でも毎日ジョギングもしてます。たまに友達とテニスや山登りもするかな。そうですね。まあ、ちょっと男っぽい趣味ですけど。I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. I don't think I've heard anyone say any of the activities that Saki listed were uh, masculine. Mm. Well, you know, like, you gotta just like, come up with these things. For some reason. 
頑張りますなんか嬉しいな真島さんは器の大きい人ですねそれじゃあそうだな料理とか小さい頃からよくしてたけどんいや全然そんなんじゃないですうんでもな何やくださいね。唐揚げです。うん。唐揚げ also sounds really good right about now. I'm not gonna lie. Think less with your stomach, buddy. いつもこう言うと笑われるんですけど。I don't know. Just every time I hear 唐揚げ just I I gotta have some. Sure. I believe karage is usually made with chicken thigh, so texture is a little hard to mess up the texture of karage.、Mm. <laughs> right、now my mouth's watering just thinking about that. God. You're drooling up. Get a bucket or something. Now I'm curious to see if、uh, just one cookbook has a, a recipe for it. For Karage? Yeah.、Uh, give me some. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh, right, you actually have the、uh, their cook, their book, right? It's got to be in the chicken section. How's it spelled? A A R A A G. Oh, r a g e Pure r a g e I think it's actually pronounced Karaage, but. I don't know. I, I, always blend the, I, always, I always blend the middle A's. I'm just like, oh my god, I can't find it. I still can't really find it. That's weird. I mean, it's like, uh. I can't go to the house. 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 Oh, right. To, to summarize、uh, the last two bits of Saki's、uh, dialogue she's great with children and she's bad with spiders. 
Well, for what it's worth, they do have a recipe. They have a couple of kar karage recipes uh, on their site. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they would. I'm just trying to see the book I have. Hmm. Mm. It gotta. Like, <laughs> like reading through it, it, it's so simple. Hi. Uh. Anyway, that that's Saki's first training. She, she's <laughs> relatively high level because in in zero Yakuza Zero, you can only do one. Uh. Training per, I guess, per break session. Oh my god, it is that. Maybe it's All right, let's try book number two. Book number two. In the meantime, uh, I believe Majima is being uh, requested to go pick up some vinegar. Again? It's, well, we, we didn't get any last time, so we don't have any. Yeah, so again. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. Give me an index, guys. Just give me buttons and stuff. Noodles, rice and flour. Unfortunately, they are yet again sold out of vinegar everywhere. See, this says this thing only says fried chicken. It doesn't say. I assume it has to be karate. Actually, what did I? I am also assuming that fried chicken recipe is a uh, karage. Uh, looks kind of the same. I'm yeah, gonna. I'm gonna assume this is the same. Cut the chicken into one-inch squares. Marinate with the ingredient in list A. Leave for about 15 minutes. Let you dry the chicken. No, oh, no potato starch. Just not okay. I'm gonna chop the long onion and ginger, add the remaining glass and beans and mix. Keep the frying rolling up to 340 degrees Fahrenheit and deep fry chicken for 4 to 5 minutes. Until the bubbles in the oil become fine and the sizzling sound increases in throat. Ask for the meat to a plate and serve with the sweet and sour relish. One can judge the approximate temperature of oil by using this simple trick. Wet and wipe off the chopsticks and dip into oil. If small bubbles quietly surround the tip of the chopsticks, the temperature is low, 300 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. If fine bubble, uh, bubbles surround the dip length of the chopsticks, the temperature is moderate, 340 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Large bubbles surrounding the dip length of the chopsticks indicate a high temperature, 360 to 370 degrees Fahrenheit. I've never heard that. Four. Alternatively, one can add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Oh, the list instead of sweet sour relish. Sweet and sour relish sauce. Four inches long onion, one piece ginger, two or half tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon or sorry, half teaspoon sugar, one tablespoon vinegar, and one tablespoon soy sauce. That just sounds pretty good. Karage is so good. A anyway, in Majima's search for uh, love? vinegar, oh. <laughs> is vinegar love? I don't. I don't think so. Vinegar can be love. Hard disagree. Wow, this is someone who's never enjoyed salt and vinegar chip. I don't actually like salt and vinegar chip. <laughs> uh, in Majima's search, 
he he we run he ran across Hibiki, also looking for vinegar. I can't believe I got to the page I had gyud on and and uh. pork cut on it. I'm hungry. <laughs> this is all your fault, chaos. Yup. You now know you know that. how my pain. Yeah, I want you to know that. Anyway, uh. Hibiki spilled the beans on uh, Club Mercury's owner's uh, past, and he went through some hard times with the rise of cabaret clubs, and basically oh, sold his soul to the devil. I can't believe these Quote, all have like a tragic backstory. It's just weird. Well, I don't think the next one has a tragic backstory. I don't believe you. And Hino of Club Mars, I also don't think had a tragic backstory. I think that dude was just really wanted money. I mean, same, but really. Well, someone's ready to go. <laughs> Is it over? Yeah, it, it's over. What right. one more of these, and then we can go back to plot. Yeah. Do even you want this over? Can you wrap it later? That's crazy. Mm, do you really though?